June 2nd, 2008. From Atlanta, hi, I'm Brad Fallon. Welcome to the Free Line. We've got something special for you this week, the first ever Free Line three-part report. During the next three days, we're going to cover productivity tools that you can use online, all of them for free and all Web 2.0 powered. For the first part, we're going to explore online desktops, or webtops. These are desktops similar to Windows, Linux, and OS X that you run right in your web browser, but without downloading software or partitioning your hard drive. First up is iOS. iOS is completely free in every sense of the word. You'll never pay to use this system, and it's completely built on open source code. You can even download the source code to iOS and put it on your company's own server, providing your LAN with a shared desktop experience. Of course, iOS is clunkier than the other web operating systems and sports some useless applications, including a web browser to be viewed inside your web browser. Just thinking about that makes my head hurt. Then we've got UOS. This webtop has all the features of iOS, plus some extra tools like an application editor that lets you write programs, especially for the UOS environment. So far, over 700 applications have been written with its API. The downside is the graphics. UOS has one of the worst looking interfaces I've ever seen. It even makes Windows 95 look pretty. Next up is the iCube online operating system. It's the easiest web OS to use, and its look and functionality will be very familiar to Windows users. One unfortunate similarity to Windows, however, is all the unknown errors that popped up when we tested it in Firefox. Maybe Microsoft isn't the best role model for creating a stable operating system. And Glide OS, on the other hand, probably considers itself more of a Mac than a PC. The look and feel is very similar to OS X, but it's built to be technology independent, with different GUIs for different platforms. For instance, when you log in from your computer, the interface is a beautiful flash environment. But when you log in through your iPhone or other mobile device, the interface is built in HTML, so it looks a little different, but all the functionality is still there. With Glide OS, you can do everything from creating Word documents to editing photos to blogging and web design, as well as hold meetings from the online desktop. And to top it all off, you can now run it offline directly from your real Mac, Windows, Linux, or Solaris desktop, multiple desktops in fact, and all of your data stays synchronized. Glide offers a free account which gives you up to 5 gigabytes of space for storing files and paid accounts if you need more room. So far, Glide OS is the winner in the next generation of desktop software. And finally, bringing the evolution of operating systems full circle, check out this online emulation of DOS. That's right, MS-DOS. Kids, go ask your grandpa. This is what home computing looked like before there even was a desktop concept, or, or Windows for that matter. It's built with Ajax, and along with many of the old MS-DOS commands, it includes some new tricks, like using Google's API to perform a search. I command prompt you to go check it out. Until next time, I'm Brad Fallon. For Web 2.0 news you can use in 2.0 minutes, visit FreelineReport.com.